Microsoft has recently unveiled Phi 3, a model that not only competes with Mixtral, but also conveniently integrates into our smartphones. With a substantial upgrade to 3.8 billion parameters, which is nearly a billion more than its predecessor Phi 2, Microsoft asserts that they've packed a significant amount of AI into this compact model. To verify these assertions, let's delve into the benchmarks and numbers. Despite their diminutive size, the Phi 3 models outshine some of their bulkier counterparts in functionality. The SLM, or Superior Lightweight Models, consist of three variants. Phi 3 Mini with 3.8 billion parameters, Phi 3 Small with 7 billion parameters, and Phi 3 Medium with 14 billion parameters. Phi 3 Mini comprising 3.8 billion parameters and trained on a staggering 3.3 trillion tokens boasts a context window spanning 4,000 tokens and 32,000 words. In its extended iteration, Phi 3 Mini 128K, the context window expands to 128,000 tokens. Benchmarked against MMLU, this model achieves a performance rate of 69%, while MT Bench ranks it at 8.38. Remarkably, the Phi 3 Mini 128K version, as per the company's blog, matches the performance of Mistral AI's Mixtral 8x7B and OpenAI's GPT 3.5 in processing and generating natural language text despite its compact form. Phi 3 Small boasts 7 billion parameters and was trained on a colossal 4.8 trillion tokens. This model features an expanded context window, spanning 8,000 tokens and a vocabulary of 100,000 words. Last but not least, Phi 3 Medium packs 14 billion parameters and was trained on the same 4.8 trillion tokens, standing as the Phi 3 series doorway to bigger, more complex models. As of now, Microsoft has only rolled out the Phi 3 Mini model, with the other two variants currently undergoing training. In upcoming weeks, Microsoft is planning to expand the Phi 3 family with new additions to provide customers with greater flexibility along with quality cost spectrum. Phi 3 Small and Phi 3 Medium will join the Azure AI model catalog and other model families soon. Additionally, it'll be accessible as an NVIDIA NIM microservice featuring a standard API interface for deployment in any environment. If we delve deep into the training, the Phi 3 underwent a unique training process employing a curriculum approach as disclosed by Eric Boyd, Vice President of Azure. In conversation with The Verge, Boyd revealed that they initiated the training by providing a list of 3,000 words and tasked a larger language model with generating children's books aimed at educating Phi. Subsequently, Phi was trained on this freshly created corpus of books. He further elaborated that Phi 3 leverages the knowledge accumulated by its predecessors. Since Phi 1 concentrated on coding skills and Phi 2 delved into reasoning abilities, Phi 3 excels in both coding and reasoning tasks. Post-training procedures also play an important role in Phi 3's performance and in enhancing its versatility across various tasks and scenarios. Leveraging extensive techniques like supervised fine-tuning and direct preference optimization, Phi 3 undergoes iterative refinement to refine its competency in areas like mathematics, coding, reasoning, and dialogue. Microsoft has also incorporated reinforcement learning from human feedback into Phi 3's training. This mechanism allows the model to learn from human interactions, adapting its responses based on real-world feedback. Reinforcement learning enables Phi 3 to continuously refine its language generation capabilities, ensuring more contextually appropriate and accurate responses over time. Phi 3's training process also involves hardcore automated testing procedures to scrutinize model performance and pinpoint potential areas needing improvement. Utilizing automated testing frameworks, Phi 3 undergoes evaluation across diverse linguistic tasks and domains, paving the way for continual fine tuning and optimization. Not only that, Phi 3 regularly undergoes manual red teaming in which human evaluators systematically analyze model behavior and performance. This manual assessment process provides valuable insights into Phi 3's strengths and weaknesses, guiding further training iterations and post-training adjustments to enhance overall model quality and reliability. Phi 3 puts dataset quality optimization front and center within its limited parameter space. It harnesses sophisticated training techniques and data selection strategies to squeeze out maximum performance. The model also proves the hypothesis that the effective use of model parameters to achieve higher performance doesn't necessarily demand a skyrocketing increase in model size. By finding the sweet spot between model intricacy and resource economy, Phi 3 establishes a fresh benchmark from compact language modeling, 
presenting an enticing substitute to larger, computationally demanding models. Phi 3 is also proving its mettle in more enterprising settings. ITC, a prominent business entity in India, has adopted Phi 3 models to streamline their solutions. Their partnership with Microsoft on the Krishi Mitra Copilot, an app tailored for farmers, demonstrates Phi 3's real world application in agriculture. Through the integration of finely tuned versions of Phi 3, ITC seeks to boost efficiency without compromising accuracy, thereby enriching the value proposition of their farmer centric application. Despite the Phi 3 family possessing a foundational understanding of general knowledge, it falls short of the expansive breadth offered by GPT-4 or any other LLM trained on the entirety of the Internet. The disparity lies in the depth and variety of responses achievable between a comprehensive LLM and a more compact model like Phi 3. Now, if there is a disparity, then why do we even need these models? Well, the emergence of smaller models proving themselves against larger counterparts is indeed a noticeable trend. Meta's Llama 3 70 billion, for instance, has demonstrated performance levels approaching that of GPT-4 in certain benchmarks. This prowess makes them suitable for specialized applications. As highlighted by Microsoft researchers in their paper on the new model, Phi 3's performance competes with established models like Mixtral 8x7B and GPT 3.5 despite its compact size suitable for deployment on mobile devices. The impetus behind this innovation, as emphasized by the team, lies in the composition of the dataset. By leveraging heavily filtered web data and synthetic content sourced from children's books generated by other AI models, they achieved release-worthy results. If we talk about the Phi 3, it tends to outsmart larger models in speed and versatility, making it compatible with a broader array of devices. It belongs to a cohort of models, including Stability AI Zephyr, Google Gemini Nano, and Anthropic's Claude 3 Haiku, all operable offline on devices as modest as laptops or smartphones. In the future, these models might come pre-installed on smartphones, integrated onto chips within smart speakers, or even incorporated into refrigerators to offer dietary advice. However, cloud-based models such as Google Gemini Ultra, Claude 3 Opus, and GPT-4 Turbo, while superior in performance across the board, face drawbacks such as cost, speed, and the necessity of an internet connection for operation. In essence, these compact models empower end consumers to converse with their very own virtual assistant even in the absence of an internet connection, further democratizing AI's ability to summarize content and answer questions. So, until now, we've discussed how the model consumes less resources while catering for a large number of applications, but we cannot undermine the fact that losing on parametric size does induce many limitations. Due to its limited parameter space, Phi 3 Mini is prone to errors and tasks demanding extensive factual knowledge, as evidenced by its lower performance on benchmarks like Trivia QA. The model's inability to store vast amounts of factual information presents a hurdle for tasks reliant on deep factual understanding. Phi 3 Mini primarily operates within the English language domain, thus limiting its applicability in multilingual contexts. Despite ongoing efforts to explore multilingual capabilities such as with Phi 3 Small and the integration of more multilingual data, extending language support remains a persistent challenge. To compensate for its capacity limitations, Phi 3 Mini may lean on external resources such as search engines to supplement its knowledge base for specific tasks. While this strategy can alleviate some constraints, it introduces dependencies and may not always ensure optimal performance. Phi 3, like many other large language models, grapples with serious issues concerning responsible AI practices, such as factual inaccuracies, biases, inappropriate content generation, and safety concerns. Despite extensive efforts in data curation, post-training refinement, and red teaming, these problems persist and demand continuous attention and active mitigation strategies. Even with all its limitations, having an AI model like Phi 3 that makes use of one's personal smartphone or laptop resources can be considered a blessing in terms of privacy and security for several reasons. Firstly, on-device computing means that sensitive data and interactions stay within the confines of the device itself, reducing the risk of unauthorized access or interception during data transmission to and from cloud servers. This direct processing ensures that personal information remains under the user's control, minimizing the exposure to potential security breaches or data leaks that may occur in transit or on remote servers. Secondly, 
On-device computing enables greater transparency and accountability regarding data usage. Users have more visibility in how their data is being processed and can exercise more direct control over permissions and access rights. This contrasts with cloud computing, where data may be processed on remote servers, often with less visibility and control for the end user. On-device computing, as in the case of Phi 3, reduces reliance on continuous internet connectivity, thereby mitigating the vulnerabilities associated with network-based attacks or service disruptions. By performing computations locally, the device is less susceptible to external threats, such as hacking attempts or network eavesdropping, which are common risks in cloud computing environments. It's not just about privacy, but on-device computing also results in faster response times and improved performance for AI applications, as data processing occurs directly on the device without the latency introduced by network communication with remote servers. This real-time processing enhances user experience while also reducing the likelihood of data exposure during transit. Subscribe to AI Symbiosis for more AI news and updates. Do you know that Apple has also released an SLM, which many deem as a huge AI update, but some believe that Apple might have just missed the mark with it? To jump into the details of what Apple's new model is all about, click on the video link popping up, and we will catch you there in a second. See ya!